All right, the final step of SQ3R, SQRRR, is to review. So first we surveyed. If you remember, we, with the survey, we went through and um, we looked at the title, uh, which was go for it. So I'm going back to the article that I used for the survey to do the final step. Um, we looked at the title, which is go for it. We also looked at any words that they kind of made stand out for us. So we have, as you read in the article, identify Montana's goal, then look for at least three steps she took to reach it, um, and surveying, and I'll combine that with questioning, since we already had questioning as well, that was the cue, or is the cue. Uh, we have a map here showing uh, where it takes place. So my question is, does it take, was, does it take place in, uh, on the continent of Africa? And um, thinking, as I look at this, I'm wondering if, if Mount, Count, Mount Kilimanjaro is a mountain that this girl climbed. Um, again, with the surveying, we look at the, the photographs, we look at the headings, be prepared, stick with it. And then we, we also notice that we're meeting some other goal setters. So this must be about somebody setting a goal. Uh, what goal did, did this girl set, I wonder? Uh, what, girl, what goal did this boy set, I wonder? And did they accomplish them? And also, what goal did this boy set? So then after surveying, after questioning, we go ahead and read. So I'm going to go ahead and read this article from top to bottom. Go for it. A new school year means working toward new goals. This kid, mountain climber, shares some secrets to success. September 2nd, 2019, Karen Kelleher. As you read in the article, identify Montana's goal. Then look for at least three steps she took to reach it. In Eastern Africa, a volcano rises more than 19,000 feet into the sky. It's Mount Kilimanjaro one of the world's tallest mountains. Every year, thousands of people try to climb to the top. Fewer than half succeed. Montana Kenny of Texas beats the odds. Beat the odds, excuse me. She climbed the mountain with her mom last year when she was just seven. She was one of the youngest climbers ever to reach the peak. One of the youngest climbers. It felt great to reach my goal, Montana says. Be prepared. Her adventure began about two years ago. Montana found out her mom was planning to climb Kilimanjaro. She begged to go too. I wanted to see what it was like above the clouds, she says. The Kennys knew it was important to be prepared. They practiced hiking on hills near their home and they did research. They discovered that they had to be ready for all kinds of weather. The bottom of Kilimanjaro is warm, but the top, is snowy and cold. The Kennys also learn that climbers can get altitude sickness. This illness can be caused by climbing very high too quickly. So they planned a route that would, that would let them go slow, stick with it. Montana and her mom set off in March, 2018. Guides showed them the way. Other helpers cooked meals and carried supplies. But even with teamwork, the six day climb to the top was tough. The group hiked for nine hours or more each day and it rained and snowed almost the whole time. That made the Rocky Mountain slippery. One day, Montana felt sick to her stomach. She and her mom worried it might be altitude sickness. They thought about turning back. But after resting for a bit, Montana felt better. She refused to give up. Two days later, she made it to the top of the mountain. I was finally above the clouds, she says. Today, Montana wants other kids to know they can reach their goals too. She tells them to plan ahead, use teamwork, and stick with it. You can do it, she says. And then we meet some other goal setters. I'm not going to read about them, but of course I would normally. Um, I wanna talk about the next step, which after survey, question, read, now we recite. So when we recite, we go back and we, we, we say some things to ourselves that we know now that we've read. Now that I've read, I know that this article is about a girl who had the goal of climbing Mount Kilimanjaro. 
Um, her mom set out to climb it and she begged her to climb with her. And sure enough, her mom said yes. Um, they understood there were dangers. They went through a few trials and tribulations or challenges and they succeeded. All right, so that is a recite step, the recite step, when I'm basically saying what I've learned from this article. And of course, she was seven years old, that is important, all right? The last step is to review. So to review, what you do it when you're finally finished reading and you talk to yourself about it, you go through it again and you make sure you didn't miss anything. So again, I'm going to look back at things like the map, uh, I'm going to look back at things like the photographs, um, be prepared. What was that all about? Oh, be prepared. She had to do some research or they had to do research before they climbed. How about stick with it? Oh, stick with it means that thinking back to the stick with it um, section of this article, um, they almost had to give up because Montana wasn't feeling well, but they stuck with it. They kept on going. Um, and then we have some other goal setters. So you just review to make sure you're, you're, you can take away information. And then maybe later on when you're sitting at the dinner table with a grown up in your house, you can talk about what you've read. You can talk about what you've learned. Or if you see something come up on TV about Mount Kilimanjaro, you can tell somebody that, oh, I read an article about a seven year old who climbed Mount Kilimanjaro with her mother. So that's the review step. That's the last step in the process. After you do all these things, the survey, the question, the read, the write, recite, the review, you can feel pretty comfortable that you understand that article very well. All right. Good luck in the future with reading articles.